I'm sitting watching blood while it dries on my sleep Thinking why does everyone I love die I just leave And if I mean a thing, then why would you leave? My mind only sees the suicide side of things At this point we can't relate if you ain't lost everything Okay, so what's up guys? Welcome back to West Wild World. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If it's not welcome back, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy the content. But today I do have to do a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of feeding. Um, I think I'm just going to hop straight into it. I need to take out the Mozambique Spitting Cobra. So I have to put on these highly advanced snake protection goggles. And yeah, he just went to the bathroom. Fed him not too long ago. Oh, hey. So I have to be careful because he's been very, very food motivated recently. Oh, it smells like doo in here. Hello. Hopefully that house doesn't fall on you. Yeah, there we go. Ew, spitting. Okay. Oh, you in shit, that's why. But it's a beautiful, beautiful snake. Absolutely gorgeous guy. Sprayed me quite a bit today. Okay. That's fine, I got him. But check how big and beautiful this Mozambique spitting cobra is. Gorgeous animal. I thought it was a female, but with the size of it, but we probed it and it actually turned out to be a male. But yeah, sure, I'm just gonna clean up and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Okay, so I put on some gloves because I noticed a bit of cut on my hands and this guy feels like spitting today, but you can come see how beautiful he is. I just need to give this to my girlfriend to put close to her face. She doesn't like breathing it in. But it does look like he is just about to go through shed, so I'm not going to spend too much time with him. But he's got a lot thicker from when I first got him, which is very, very good. Didn't want to eat for a little bit, but... Seems to be doing all right now. Look at that. About a 1.5, 1.6 meter Mozambique spinning cobra. Absolutely beautiful specimen, but not gonna spend too much time with him. Spray down his enclosure, spray down his hide to hopefully help out with his shed. If he isn't shed, he does look a bit dull. Um, And yeah, there's live plants in there, so they need to be watered anyway. But let's just close this up. Oh. And again, that's why I don't use locks. Okay, so after dealing with that bastard, I have to move on to my beautiful green mambas that have also been acting like bastards recently. Um, I need to take them out because they went to the bathroom and I need to change their water. Um, but yeah. I also need to feed this female separately from the male, so I might try and leave the female in there, not disturb her, and get the male out only. And yeah, because the poo is just over on this side, and I should be able to get the water out without too much hassle with the hex armor gloves. But let's start this and let's probably take off the gloves so I can open up the glass. Oh, it's got cotton here. Okay. A little bit easier. But these are my Eastern Green Mambas, native to South Africa on the coastal lines of KZN, or the coastal forest, I should say, of KZN. And this guy been a little bit temperamental recently um, I think it is breeding season or about to be breeding season I've never seen these guys actually want to take a tag but I don't want to risk it that's why I just put him down quickly because these guys are so so arboreal and so good at climbing you can see how he's wrapping up my arm over here so he can get back at me very very quickly but I'm just gonna get him straight into there and this is about a two meter eastern green mamba how sick is that beautiful animals but i'm just going to clean up hopefully the female doesn't bite me but yeah i'll see you guys when i get back okay so i cleaned out the enclosure i've left the female in there obviously is this a rat that looks a long one cool 
So I'm just going to offer the female three smaller meals. She still hasn't got onto the bigger meals yet, but check how interested she is here. She's been doing super, super well. Very stoked with how she's been doing. But watch her now that she won't come out and actually come hunt for the food. Hey. You're being a bit shy now. Okay. Okay, let's try a rat. Of course, this is it's just how all my feeding videos go. All the time. My animals just don't like to eat on camera. It's actually fairly irritating. Eh, wouldn't you say? But recently she has been taking meals very, very well, which is very, very good. Straight off the tongs as well. Looks like she'll take now. Don't know if you guys will be able to see because she's all the way at the back. There we go. Easy as that. So I'm going to let her chow down and then I'm going to offer her the other two rats and I'll see you guys there. Okay, so because this big green and that small green didn't want to have more than one meal, well, the big green didn't have any meals, uh, this is a predicament, ain't it? Watch out. So I'm just going to get him back into his enclosure. That's definitely how you hook and tail a mamba. Definitely should follow those directions. If you're watching my videos for a how-to, you either don't, you have something wrong with your brain, or I don't know, probably, I can't even say. I'm not a how-to channel, don't do what I do. But yeah, I'm going to hop into some more feeding. I actually think I'm going to offer these snouted the two rats that these are the not want, so you can stay filming. Um, you might have to get up off your seat there, madam, unfortunately, or I can maybe get it to come out like that. Look how cool that is. Um, let me try and find the other bastard in here as well, see if you'll come out. So after that extravagant performance by the Snouted Cobras, I'm going to be offering the Chinese Sharp Nose, and you can see how reactive they are. Chinese Sharp Nose, a meal. Let's see if he will come out to play. Hey. He looks like... He Ooh, hello. 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 Here you go. There you go. Go down there. And do you want to take yours now? I'll just leave it there for you. Hopefully you guys figure it out. But yeah, this one in front looks like it's in shed and the one at the back doesn't. So that's why that one just came flying out of nowhere. And that's why we have to be extra careful while feeding as well, especially pit vipers. Okay, so I'm going to be offering my little Mozambique spitting cobra a meal. Um, Obviously not going to be opening this up because I don't feel like getting eye protection, but let's put that over and see if he, and that's why I didn't want to open that up. Did you see how much venom he spat there? But he looks like he's a bit too defensive. I'll leave the rat on top there. And, yeah. and again, he's in such a small enclosure because he escapes out of the other ones. I can't put him in a display enclosure and I can't put him in one of these bucks to your left um, because he gets out through here so um, it's just for public safety more so but I mean he's gonna get a upgrade soon hopefully but let's leave him to eat and move on to the next snake okay so this is a little baby puffy if you blink you might miss it look at that perfect perfect strike you guys can see where it struck there I don't know if you can. There's a little bit. Oh, hello. Look how fast you strike. And you in shed as well. Just going to leave it there for Boom. Look at that. Blink and you miss it. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this puff feather. Yeah. He looks like he is just going through his first shed with me. He looks like he's doubled in size as well. So, I mean, I'm very surprised that he hasn't shed before. But, yeah, beautiful animal. He'll start chowing up now when I stop irritating him. So, I'm going to do that. And we'll move on to the next snake. 
Okay, so my shield nose cobra is in here. My camera woman just has to be a little bit careful because this shield nose is a little bit of a bastard. But let's see if it wants to take some food instead of just bluff striking. So these guys are dangerously venomous, but they haven't been known to kill anyone. And as you can see, they have an attitude from Hull. Absolutely. It's all intimidation though, because I mean, if you're this small in Africa, you have to act as big as possible. Why they're called shield nose cobras is because of that upturned rostral scale at the front of their nose. You probably won't see it. And that they stand up and spread their neck, similar to what a cobra does with its hood um, so they have a little little hood and he doesn't look interested but you got to see her she's fat anyway so doesn't mind if she misses a meal yeah hey little bastard snake which I will just move on to the next snake real quick okay so what is going to be up next is my Chinese Cobras coming from a Chinese shark nose Cobras I actually need to check that they aren't being idiots and they aren't um, but yeah, I'm just going to move on to my Chinese Cobras here. Gave them a bit of greenery. Just a little bit of enrichment before I can upgrade them into the actual enclosure. Are you more interested in my leg, sir? Please don't bite my leg. But just as all my baby snakes, these guys have been growing that was super super cute <laughs> these guys have been growing super super fast which i'm very stoked about don't strike at me with food in your mouth didn't you didn't your mom teach you manners you never speak with food. your mouth is full little bastard but yeah this is a pair of chinese cobras they're doing super super well awesome awesome animals absolutely love asian cobras it's so so much different in behavior to that of most African species in the fact that they love to bluff a lot more than they actually like to bite um, sorry about the bike in the back um, most African cobra species love to bite first and ask questions later it's a nice change of pace with these guys obviously that's not with all cobras um, and not all Naya, um, Naja, Naya, Asian Naya species. But just in general, they seem to be a lot more tolerant of handling and just things going on around them than that of African cobras. Obviously, you can get really, really wiry Asian cobras and you can get really, really calm African cobras. It's not a set rule, but just from my experience with them, these guys are a lot more calm. I mean, you can see <laughs> most of my cobras wouldn't allow me to touch them on the head the African cobras just after they're eaten but yeah I'm just gonna wait for that guy to finish up eating so these guys don't steal each other's food and then we'll move on to the next snake okay so this is one of my house snakes obviously it looks like an empty enclosure but this is the big mommy and you'll see now how she comes out look at that beautiful snake do you not want to? There we go. Look how perfect those quills are. Super, super strong animals. Love them. But yeah, as I said in previous episodes, the snake is separated because they love to breed and she was looking very, very skinny and her eggs were quite rubbish. They started to get quite bad. So I didn't want her to get egg bound or to just go off food completely and just keep on breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding. So she's in here and then if I want to breed them, I'll put them back with the males. But sure, I'm going to actually move on to the males real quick and I'll let her eat in peace. <laughs> All three of them are out. Okay, so these are the males that love to bonk the female. They also are just as food motivated. He just pulled it away into his house. Hey, okay. yeah. Oh, come. You don't bite me. This orange, well orange one, the albino one loves to act like a venomous snake, just tag and release, which is very weird, like that. Um, they obviously are non-venomous constrictors. Just gonna leave it there for you. Uh, please don't bite my hand. Um, they're actually pretty good starter snakes. That was so close to my finger. Um, they are very similar to corn snakes in that matter. They hardly ever bite unless it's like food orientated. 
and uh, they are very easy to keep, especially down here in South Africa because they are native snakes. So most of the time they don't really need artificial heating or a specific temperature because they do live here. Um, it's not saying that you don't need artificial temperatures for these guys because I keep them on them just so the temperatures are roughly correct. But yeah, beautiful animals. That one doesn't want to eat, so I guess he's just going to zoom around. I need to fill up their water, but that's about it. Then we can move on to the next snakes.